Stephen Yanni here. Do you remember Christmas morning when you were a kid? I sure do. It was 1974. I was 10 years old and Santa Claus brought me one of these. This is an Aurora Imposter. Now, this one might look like a little Volkswagen Beetle, and actually it is. Kind of a cool little thing, a replica, oh, probably about 1 16th scale, something like that. And he didn't bring me this. I would have been cool with this too. This is a little Ford Pinto. Again, it's part of the Aurora Imposters line. There was also a Willis Gasser uh, and a reported AMC Gremlin, but the Gremlin, as far as I know, never made production. But what is, what is an imposter? What does it do? Well, good question. This little purple key right here, you put it in the side, you wind it up, take it out, set it on the floor, and then when you pull this tab down in the back, It stretches out and turns into a dragster, in this case with a, a little Hemi engine in the front, stretched wheelbase, headers that pop out from nowhere, and a driver figure in the back right here with a flame fuel suit. And you can see right here all that stuff kind of goes away when you push it back together again. In the case of the Pinto, same thing happens. Let's wind this one up and see if the spring still works on this one. Yeah, there's a little spring inside. These are from 1972, by the way. When I was uh, 10, these toys were already two years old. Um, and on this one here, okay, well, the spring motor doesn't work, but on this one, the Pinto stretches out. There's a Boss 429, which is actually a different engine from the Volkswagen, good for you, Aurora. And here's the little driver figure right here. And this one is missing the rear bumper. But one thing they have in common is the Goodyear wide tread front tires with the Goodyear logo on the sidewall. And on the back, these are M&H Racemaster logoed slicks. They're soft rubber. And when you put these things on the ground after you wind them up, again, they transform and zoom off for about 50 to 100 feet. Now, these two have their original boxes and the boxes on these things are awesome i love these things these are designed to make kids drool i don't know about you but when i see this kind of stuff even now i just i just love it it says here tame looking volkswagen change into tough looking dragster and, and there it is and on the back here are some of the illustrations again showing the transformation to spell it out same thing on the Pinto box. We can see it right here. The same artist clearly designed both boxes. And that's great. When, when manufacturers uh, have a line of toys that are similarly themed, it's great when they build a brand identity by having the same artist and the same artwork design. And, and that's what they did here. Again, on the back, we see again the, uh, the illustrations of the toy transforming. Now, the manufacturer of these is or was Aurora from West Hempstead, Long Island. And Aurora goes back to the 1950s. Most people remember Aurora as a manufacturer of uh, plastic model kits. Of course, their uh, Forgotten Prisoner, the uh, horror movie scenes. A lot of that stuff has been re-released, by the way, by uh, Atlantis and Polar Lights. Of course, Polar Lights being a term that also could be seen as the Aurora Borealis. So again, Polar Lights took a lot of the Aurora model kits and stuff back oh, 15, 20 years ago and revived them. But so far, nobody has reintroduced the imposters. And of course, that term imposter, well, it's an imposter. It looks like this, but it's actually that. So that's the story of the Aurora Imposters. Now, if you ever want to find videos on these things, you can actually see these things on YouTube. Uh, the one video that is kind of lost to time is uh, actor Tom Boswell, who played uh, Richie's father on Happy Days. In 1972, Tom Boswell was hired to host one of the Aurora Imposters videos, commercials, I should say, on Saturday mornings. And uh, that video used to be available on YouTube. You can't find it now, but that is the video that shows the AMC Gremlin, which again, never made production as far as anybody knows. But with that said, man, this takes me back to being 10 years old, the Aurora Imposter. If you like this video, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the Steve Yanti YouTube channel where there are no imposters.